Hi, uh, this is Jeffrey Paul Ross for NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, we are continuing on in our Inspired by series. Today we're going to be working on some uh, blues riffs. Uh, we're going to be using some effects. I've got some gain and uh, got a wah-wah pedal here. And so we're going to try this uh, one Inspired by riff and see what you think. So I'd like to tell you, if you would like a free video lesson with the corresponding ebook, just click on that link below and we will send you the free video lesson with the free corresponding ebook from nextlevelguitar.com. And we are in the key of E. I'll show you the riff without the wah-wah and then uh, we'll go back and talk about that. Uh, I'll play the riff slowly and then I'll break it down. So. play this riff up to speed and I'm going to use I'm, I'm not going to use the effects yet so so uh So that's what it should sound like at normal tempo. So now I'm going to do that same riff and I'm going to use I'm going to use the wah wah pedal. Okay, here we go. So to talk a little bit about the gear here because it's a, an integral part of the sound. Uh, got a mid 70s Strat here. The pickups uh, have, a, have a lot more highs than like an older 50 style. So the, the front pickup, which I'm on, will give you a very glassy, uh, familiar sound. Those of you who are students of the 60s or you actually were there. <laughs> and this is a hardtail. Now, I'm running this through a Vox Wawa pedal into a Nobles... Uh, ODR1 distortion pedal, and this is, this is my favorite uh, overdrive pedal. It's a German company, and I love it. It gives a very smooth, warm, even distortion. Um, and this is into uh, a Fender DeVille amplifier. So we got the wah-wah going, and, and you can start it with a little rhythm like that, just to chugga 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 and while you're doing that I'm just working the wah wah up and down now also uh, what I'd like to kind of emphasize I'm given the, the notes that I land on and hold for like a beat. I'm really giving them some, some vibrato. I'll try that without the uh, wah-wah. Especially that note, I really, you know, that's that 60s British blues rock thing, so. You know, when I land on that note, I really bend it and the pedal goes down to, to accentuate it. Yeah, once again, just giving it a lot of vibrato. Once again, I'd like to emphasize that once you learn this, don't let that be the, the stopping point. Uh, 
you know, sit and sit with it, you know, turn it around, turn it upside down, add things to it. <laughs> Now here's something else that you can play around with, and this is a very familiar uh, late 60s sound. And these are very simple little things that, uh, just think of these little, uh, like this little E triad, or, or, or you know that, you know, we're just, we're, we're inside of that bar chord, which is mostly the high notes. And then just throw that high nine on. on. And what I'm doing, I'm I'm picking it, I'm strumming it, and then I just slide down a whole step. Then another whole step. Now a whole step and a half. Okay, now I'm going to kind of put both of these riffs together, and this is just give you an example of what you can do. So once again, this has been Jeffrey Paul Ross for NextLevelGuitar.com. Uh, reminding you that we have over a thousand types of guitar lessons from uh, beginners, uh, then intermediate, and on up through advanced. So we'll see you next time.